Hey YouTube friends, Ben Ochart here. Hey, let's say you come home and you find one fish has died on you. There's no reason you can tell just by looking at the fish why he died, but he's dead. Two other fish are not eating. What steps do you take? What would be your immediate response to a situation like that? Let's talk about it here. Thank you so much for tuning in. As is often the case, we started with a survey of the group. You have 20 fish in a 100 gallon. One dies with no signs of disease. Two are not eating. What's the first thing you do? Go. So this was posted at the Ben O. Cichlid, All About African Cichlids Facebook group page. And I encouraged members to tell me what their, what their 911 response would be to coming home to that situation. Bruce said he'd test his water. Curtis said he'd do a water change. And Brendan said, better be test the water, ha ha. Knowledge is a wonderful thing. So some folks are moving right into action. Some are getting some readings first before moving into action. I think none of these steps would hurt necessarily. And what you'll see as we go through this is you'll see different levels of response. Some people take it a little bit slow. Some people want to move into a more drastic measure much faster. I can see value to moving in either of those directions. I, for one, have been too slow and overreacted. Susan says check all water parameters, pH, temp, ammonia, nitrate, nitrites, and nitrates. Do a water change and continue to observe. Keep a log in all of your tanks, date of previous water changes, and anything that goes into tank. Susan, I'm a big fan of keeping a log. I used to keep a, a paper record in a small notebook. Now I just keep it in the note section of my phone, and I date every major change such as canister maintenance, uh, adding fish, things of this nature, changing food. Jeff says check parameters, water change, add some hiding places to keep and keep an eye out. It looks like Jeff is suspecting either a change in something that is stressing the fish, like ammonia or perhaps aggression. Nick says water change, prime and a little salt. And Bob Yates says remove dead fish, water change, Rearrange the rocks to change the aggression patterns in the tank. And again, we're um, because we're talking about cichlids, very often what people are thinking about is that there could be a death due to aggression as opposed to a fish, which can happen, can just tip over and die, sometimes from old age. Alexis says water changes are like chest compressions. <laughs> They do have a sort of a rejuvenating effect on a tank. And uh, I have found that the fish are much, much more active and much uh, more colorful after a change. Justin says, at this point in my aquarium life, only five months old, I'm assuming that's how old his aquarium has been set up, I would do a 20% water change and I'd try sulfa, a great medication which treats velvet, I'm assuming that means ick and a host of other diseases. Yes, it is a broad spectrum that uh, can be very effective at treating. And uh, Robin says, remove dead fish, remove fish not eating to a hospital tank and do a water change. Observation for two fish in hospital tank to ascertain if they have an issue that requires medicating and observe fish left in the main tank closely. That's all very, very good advice, Robin. And uh, I, I, I do like the fact, uh, and this is just my opinion, uh, that you didn't rush to medicate. Uh, very often I think we medicate too fast and too much and um, if you look at what's happening in, uh, in the treatment of humans, we have started to create um, superbugs that no longer respond to medication. Timothy says, test the water first. If good, then they were stressed from being bullied. And uh, that's certainly possible. Trevor says, remove dead fish, test water. If water is fine, go to work and forget about it. I occasionally have a fish that will choose not to eat for a day or two. It's their choice. My dog does the same thing. I don't rush him to the vet. 
So Trevor, you're taking the uh, the position of not overreacting, and I can see the sense in that. I think sometimes we uh, rush to do a lot of steps, forgetting that those steps also can produce more stress, uh, rearranging things, water changes, even medicating. Adam says fish not eating, in my experience, are one of two things, newer stressed fish, a sick fish. For me, if I notice it more than one day, I add clout. Doesn't seem to affect cycle and always gets them back to normal. Only have issues with new fish not eating. Clout, of course, is a, um, a great medication. I believe it's by Fritz, Fritz Aquatics, if I'm not mistaken. You can check on that and uh, certainly helps helps to get the system cleared out and going. And uh, Christopher says, remove dead fish, check parameters, check, I guess, door faulty for a faulty heater and look at two that aren't eating for signs of being bullied. And Kevin says, check your parameters first. The one that died could have been a recipient of aggression if we are talking about African cichlids. Second is if the two aren't eating after fasting a couple days, I would medicate with general cure or levamisole to rid the possibility of internal parasites. That's great advice, uh, Kevin. Uh, sometimes we assume if, if one fish is dead and two are not eating, that those might be related when the truth might be that it's they could be completely unrelated. Uh, the ones that are not eating might might have a parasite issue. The one that died uh, might have had some internal issue or may have just died of old age. Sometimes when we buy a fish, we don't know how old that fish is. And we might, might have bought an adult colored up fish near the end of its normal life cycle. It tips over and dies. And if we panic and start changing things around and medicating, all we're doing is, um, is creating stress for the other fish and, of course, when you medicate, especially with powerful uh, antibacterial-type medications, your antibi antibiotics, you are going to have an impact to some degree on your beneficial bacteria. All of these factors can uh, add up to increasing stress unnecessarily, and so these are all points that need to be taken into consideration. So there you have it. What would you do under those circumstances? What steps would you take? Share them below. We all learn from each other here on this channel. I certainly would uh, watch things very carefully and see how those uh, fish are doing. And I'd probably adhere to some of the advice that some of the members of the group shared here on this video. I would certainly look for a bully, see if someone's bullying the other fish. And I would certainly look for signs of parasites things of this nature, monitoring the situation closely, but not really overreacting or getting too worked up too fast. Sometimes fish, um, they just die of old age. Sometimes when we get them, we don't really know how old they are when we first got them. And uh, what they have going on might be completely unrelated. In other words, the fish that died, the reason he died might be completely unrelated to why those two other fish are not eating. At any rate, thank you so much for tuning in. Share your thoughts below, and I do appreciate you stopping by.